Today I'm launching my own product after months of work. The Creator Cable is live on Kickstarter right now. It's the all-in-one USB-C solution. So in this video, I will tell you what it can do and why I created it. But to do that, we need to take a look at the inside. This year, the EU is mandating USB-C in every device to reduce a lot of e-waste. But it also opens a world of possibilities. It's great that even the new iPhones have a USB-C port with awesome features, but when I unboxed it in my last video, I found out that the new USB-C cable is still USB 2.0. This is the new USB-C to USB-C cable, and this is the lightning to USB-C cable. For educational purposes, right? See this? Like most USB-C cables, this is a USB 2.0 cable. It's slow, and its technology was released years before the first iPhone ever. It's holding back your new devices. USB 2.0 only has four wires, which makes it very limited for charging and transferring data. That's why more and more is becoming wireless. Here, I have my most expensive USB-C cable. It was handmade with extremely high quality materials. And it even has a fancy connector. A hundred bucks, but still a USB 2.0 cable. No, of course I'm not gonna cut it. But you know now that it's almost impossible to tell what a USB-C is capable of on the outside. The Creator Cable makes use of all 24 connections inside the USB-C port, making it the future of USB-C. But more about that later. Right now, you have to carry multiple USB-C cables for different functions and devices. And that's not really reducing the e-waste that the EU had in mind, right? That made me wonder, is there one cable that can do it all? I tried everything, expensive cables, fancy brands, but most were still stuck with USB 2.0. The only option I found was not in my budget, but there had to be a solution. So that's when I went on a mission to create the all-in-one USB-C solution. One cable that you know won't limit you or your devices. And you might think, why do I need another cable? Well, our devices are becoming more and more capable and data is getting bigger every day. And as creators, photographers, videographers, designers, and content creators, we work with large files. And when time is money, you can't afford to lose your best work because of a cable. I figured that to eliminate the weakest link once and for all, the cable should charge any device, but also transfer data super fast. I researched all the problems people had with cables and tried to solve them all. It should be fast, versatile, and durable. I found out about use before, the latest and greatest USB technology, but how am I going to create this thing? I'm lucky that for the last few years, I've been able to work with my girlfriend and business partner, Renee. We run a hair clip brand that we're super proud of and is selling to businesses and consumers worldwide. I fully automated it and it's operating since last year from a warehouse, but that's a story for another time. All in all, I have learned so much about the manufacturing process of a custom product and worldwide logistics. With these experiences, I was confident in my journey, and after a while, I found amazing manufacturing partners for this cable, but that's when the problem started. See, making a prototype is expensive, but also very time consuming. I had to think about many things I never thought about before, like the color, the size, the length, the materials, and I reached out and got samples from different places. I went as far as a company in Germany that is specialized in cable sleeving for satellites and supercars. It's incredible. To make it durable, I decided on a nylon braided sleeve and an aluminum housing with the logo laser engraved. And I decided on a completely black look to make the cable sleek and timeless. At the same time, I was also looking at what I liked about cables that I used in the past and what I didn't like. For example, I like to quickly organize my cables, but I dislike Velcro because of the sound it makes and also because it damages the nylon sleeve on a cable like on this cable. I really like the solution from a cable I got with the OnePlus One phone, a silicon cable tie. I also want it to be multi-purpose so you can remove it from the cable and use it to bundle multiple cables or do the cable management for your desk setup. I found a great manufacturing partner that also produces pacifiers and after another month, the first samples were on their way. When the first prototypes arrived, some problems quickly came to light. To name a few, the debossing of the logo on the silicon cable strap was barely visible at all. 
and one of the connector housing options was too big to fit my phone case. I was glad I invested in some very specific USB testing gear because it showed that the chip inside the cable, yes, the cable has a chip, was not USB 4. This was a big problem, of course, and meant the product was far from ready. After some back and forth with the manufacturing partners, a new batch of prototypes was on its way. Everything was fixed and I tried different lengths, a 1 meter and a 1.8 meter version, and tested them to see they were truly USB 4. We also tried hanging from it to see if it's strong enough. I'm here with my friend Bjorn and let's see if this cable can save his life. <laughs> Soon after, I was using the cable for everything. It replaced most of my cables. It's in the center of my creative process and I even use it to record this video with ProRes or even to record professional video with my new iPhone 15 Pro. I also use it to charge all my devices but also to connect an external 4K OLED display with touchscreen all with one creator cable. You could power your entire workstation from your laptop with the creator cable. Let's show you a quick test. So I got this little testing device and I want to give you a quick demonstration of how it works. So the lights that turn on indicate which wires are connected to the port inside of a cable. So let's take the new USB, USB 2.0 cable that came with the iPhone 15 Pro and connect it to the little device. Let's see which lights turn on. Now let's try the creator cable. So as you can see here, the creator cable uses all the connection points of the USB-C connector. Nice, right? And you can turn it around as well. See? <laughs> For the people that wanna know specs, the creator cable charges up to 100 watts, can transfer data up to five gigabytes per second, which is more than 80 times faster than USB 2.0. And as a little extra, you can connect external monitors up to 8K 60 frames. And as a quick comparison, a one hour ProRes video takes about half an hour to transfer, while it takes 20 seconds with the creator cable, which is limited by the speed of your drive, of course. So I decided I wanted to run a Kickstarter. If you don't know what Kickstarter is, it's a platform where people share their project ideas and prototypes to get funding. Why is this great? Because you can see if people are interested and get feedback to make the product even better before it is mass produced. But here's the kicker. If it doesn't reach the funding goal within 30 days, everyone will be refunded by Kickstarter and the whole thing is blown off. However, if we go beyond the goal, I have a little surprise. I developed a USB-A to USB-C converter that together with the creator cable gets the highest data transfer speed out of older USB-A ports. I must be honest, doing this whole process on my own has been very humbling. It took way more time and effort than I expected. So that's how I launched my own product. You can check out the Kickstarter page by clicking the link in the top right corner or in the description. It's only running a few weeks, so be quick to get the creator cable with a huge discount. And as a little gift to my YouTube subscribers, after you back the creator cable on Kickstarter, you will get one of my premium digital products for free. Please share the Kickstarter page with one person you think would love the creator cable. Thank you so much for being on this journey with me and let's talk soon.